Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Today for uh, time for drama again. The Muslims, they are suffering very much from my videos. And even they are saying, even Christians, they are suffering. Uh, that's very bad. I don't like to make people suffering, but you know what? The truth sometimes hurt. Um, he is saying many things actually in his video, and I don't have time really to answer it all in 15 minutes, because we can go deep in details. And you will see that the Muslims, when they talk to answer, they don't use their brain. Actually, I never met a Muslim, he have one. And I'm not being, uh, let us say, I'm not being funny, I'm saying the truth. Because, you know, a Muslim who have a brain, he believe, if you believe in God, and he pray for him five times a day, and then he go to heaven, and then Allah will make him 60 foot tall and 33 years old, and he will make him white, not a black, by drinking water like Alice in the Wonderland, and then he go to heaven, and Allah will make his penis endless, and then in, in the heaven, he will have a long line of women, they are bending down, and he start doing them one by one, and Angel, he wrap in his, uh, in his shoulder each time she gets so hot in her vagina, because he will, is going to burn, and then after that, there's 70,000 boys ready to serve him. Muslim, they say to serve, I say for sex. And this is a person who have a brain. I did not even say anything yet. So don't speak about logic. Don't speak about insulting. Your religion is insulting to the mankind. Because when you, pro when you promise, when you self, say to people, if you believe in this God, Allah will give you 70,000 child. This is the child abuse. Maybe Muslims, they never heard about this term because this is the religion of a child abuse. They marry children. They rape children. When you say to someone, I'm going to have for you a lot of women for sex. This is sex slavery in heaven. So imagine slavery in earth, slavery in heaven. So what changed? Not, nothing changed. It was evil in the, in, the, in the earth. A human being was evil. Using someone else, abusing someone else. In the heaven of Allah, it's the same. You are abusing, using someone else. However, let us go straight to the topic this guy, this Abdul, is talking about. First, he starts saying to me, oh, Christian Prince, you are insulting your God. Why do you, you attack Allah? Why? Because in the Bible, Arabic Bible, the translation using the word Allah. Listen to this. Bothered to open up the Arabic Bible, Christian Prince, you would know that the Arabic Bible uses the word Allah. So what? This is a translation. I don't accept it. Find me the word Allah in my Bible, in the original scriptures. Show me where Jesus, he said Allah. The Muslim will quote for you from the Passion of Christ, Jesus saying, Ila, Ila. This is not Allah, Abdul. This is not, uh, this is, you see, the Muslims are very funny. If you want to talk to me about logic, if someone now make a translation for the Quran in English, and instead of using the word Allah, he used the word Jesus. Do you accept it? You don't, right? If any Christians accept that, this is his sin, not my sin. For me, it's wrong. It's evil. No translation should have a word because the, the Bible is clear about that. God of the Bible says, you do not worship a name of any other God. And this is not of the name of our God. You will not find such a name in the Old Testament or in the New Testament in any of the three languages, major languages where the Bible written as original which is the Aramaic, Hebrew, Aramaic, uh, Greek. So this is very funny logic. However, Muslims are very silly. They think our, our problem with their God is the name. Now, no, Abdul, it's not the name. Let us say for the sake of argument, your God, his name is Jesus. Let's just for the sake of argument. Still, I will make fun of him. Because if you hijack a name, it doesn't make you the person who, who, who is the name. You get the point? Like you Muslims, you hijack the name of Jesus. You put him in the Quran. Still, Jesus in the Quran is not our Jesus. You hijack the name of Musa. You put it in the Quran. Still, your Musa is very funny, very stupid for us. Same as all the names you hijack, you put it there. Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac, Jacob, you name it. All those names in your Quran, but none of them is a true name, a true person, because the stories there have nothing to do with true stories. However, when I quote for you from your Quran and I attack your God, I have many reasons because your God is fake, it's not exist. And then he said the following. For God. So Allah is in the Arabic Bible. So you are insulting the Christians, the Arab Christians, and also Christians in general. So in fact, you're blaspheming against your own God. And also, is it the, the Gospel of Mark? The Gospel of Mark that declares uh, blaspheming the Holy Spirit as the unforgivable sin. Wow, that's a good idea. 
That is against you, not against me, because I never insulted the Holy Spirit. I'm a Christian. I will never do that. But you Muslims are the one who insult the Holy Spirit. If we go to the Quran, we will find the following. Let us expose the liars. The Quran mentioned a Ruh al-Qudus in many chapters. As an example, chapter 16, verse number 102. It says, we sent it down to thee by the Holy Spirit. If we ask the Muslims, who is the Holy Spirit? They will say he is Jibreel. You are the one who is insulting the Holy Spirit. You made a divine an angel. Say the Holy Spirit has brought the revelation from the Lord. If we ask any Abdul, who is the Holy Spirit? Ask them. Just ask them right now. They will say to you, this is Jibreel. You are the one who is insulting the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the divine spirit of God, and you are making it an angel. And remember, angels in the Quran are sinners. This is why Allah, he ordered the angels to bow down to Adam, which means the Holy Spirit itself one day bowed down to Adam. Imagine how insulting this is. is. That is the most, by the way, the story of Allah is ordering the angels to bow down to Adam is one of the most stupid, funny stories. It's fit perfectly for cartoon. Allah, he told the angels, I'm going to create someone. The angels, they said to him, who? He said, a human. They said, oh, he would do a bloodshed. He said, no, he will not. So Allah, he wanted to prove to them that they are liars. He said to them, I know what you know not. And then he taught Adam all the names and he asked Adam, ask the angels first. What the name of those things? The angel says, Allah, we don't know. So Allah, he said, okay, I will show you that I am the one is God. Adam, what is the name of this thing? He said, remote control. What the name of this thing? It's uh, iPhone. What is the name of this thing? And this is fan. So he, how, how Allah, he proved his God? He gave things names and he is the one who know the names. You see how amazing this stupid story? What a big deal. Imagine you ask me, I ask you, what the name of my dog? I don't have one. I will say to you, what the name of my dog? You say, uh, I don't know. I say, oh, the name of my dog is Balbul. And then you say to me, wow, you must be God. How you know? This is the most stupid story. However, you are the one who insult the Holy Spirit by saying that the Holy Spirit is an angel. And once Allah, he ordered the Holy Spirit to bow down to Adam. Don't talk about insulting the Holy Spirit. You Muslims. You're not even a Christian. And you're hellbound. So just think about that. Really think about that. Mm -hmm. Now, let's just analyze where you get this Allah the leg from. Well, we know that Muslim sources do mention that Allah has a, sin, has a shin. Allah has a shin. Now, this is not to be taken literally. It is not a... Uh, wait, 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 wait. What do you mean not to be taken literally? Taken, you see, the Muslim is supposedly answering me. It says not to take it literally but it's taking it metaphorically. Okay, what metaphorical mean? I challenge you to give me one proof it says this is a metaphorical of something. Same time, you did not say to us metaphorical of what? You say metaphorically and that's it? Come on. You have to give me, to tell me it's metaphorical for what? However, you, as long as you are talking about this, it's mean you know and you watch my video. You see, the Muslims, they are really not intelligent. As I said, I'm not insulting. This is your prophet saying the story, not me. And this is in Sahih al-Bukhari, not in my uh, magazine. This is uh, the hadith number, book number 676, hadith number 577. It's your prophet saying, uh, the prophet of Allah saying, O apostle, shall we see our Lord in the day of resurrection? So it's about what? About seeing Allah. Not metaphorical. About seeing Allah. Seeing. Okay, they are human. They have eyes. They will what? They will see Allah. Don't tell me metaphorical, Abdul. Come on. People are laughing. Stop laughing, boys. Okay. So he said, do you, like, do you people, like, you know, do you, do you have a problem to see the sun in, uh, if it's not hiding by the cloud? They say no. He said, you will, uh, uh, you know, you will see Allah the same, uh, uh, easy as seeing the sun. The same as, same as you see the, the moon. So Allah is described here the same as the sun as the moon as how easy to see. But for sure, it's not saying he is the sun of the moon, right? That doesn't say that. Then we will continue saying. And then Allah, he will come to the Muslims. All right. Allah will come to them in a shape. 
other than they know and will say. Does it say shape? Don't tell me metaphorical, Abdul, come on. Honestly, if you say what metaphorical one more time, I will jump from the window. It says he will come in a shape that is physical. So it's about seeing Allah. It's about the shape of Allah. Let us make a point here, all right? So in the day of resurrection, Allah will be seen. Are we are we going to see Allah? He said, yes, you will see Allah. And it's going to be very easy. The same way you see the sun, the same way you see the moon. So don't worry about it. It's very easy, all right? Here we go. So we will see Allah the same as we see the sun, the same as we... And then Allah will come in a shape other than the shape which they know. And then he will say, I am your Lord. What he will say? I am your Lord. That's wonderful. They will say, we seek refuge with Allah from you. The Muslims, they kick Allah ass and refuse him, say to him, oh, you are Satan. Not only they refuse him, they say to say to him, we, ref we seek refuge to Allah from you, which means you are Satan. Imagine Muslims saying to Allah, you are Satan. Why? Because he came to them with different shape shape other than the one which they know then allah he will go his allah is playing hide and seek he will go and he will come back okay tell our lord so first time allah come muslim will reject allah why because he's coming with a shape they don't like then allah will come to us and we will recognize him recognize him don't tell me metaphorical why he will come in a shape. You see it, Abdul? How you will recognize Allah? Because of the shape. And they know and will say, I am your Lord. They will say, Oh, oh yeah, no doubt you are our Lord. Uh, because Allah, he come with a shape Muslims like. And that story actually is very dangerous. Why? Because that's mean that the Muslims, they are like chicken. They follow their mother due to the shape, not because they understand what the shape is about. If they like the shape, if a duck walk by, the chick will follow the 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 the, the, uh, the baby chicken. They will follow the uh, the duck. If a dog walk by, they will follow any shape they like. So, and the proof, as you see, Allah Himself come to you in a shape you don't like. You reject Him. You say to him, we seek refuge from Allah from thee. Allah is rejected because of his shape. Then Allah is accepted because of his shape again. So Allah, he come with a new shape, huh? Santa Claus shape maybe. And then the story get more complicated. How they will recognize Allah? It is from the shin. And to make our point more clear, if we go to chapter, uh, you know, uh, uh, sorry, the hadith in Sahih Bukhari, hadith number 532 in the book 93, it says how we will recognize Allah. They said it from the shin. He, remember, the whole story talking about Allah coming in a shape first time, second time, and then Allah, he will uncover his shin. So it's about seeing Allah, the shin of Allah, the physical face of Allah, the physical, you know, actually the physical face is not shown here, However, it's a proving that there is something false and funny there. Anyway, this video is not going to be enough to answer uh, all his claims, so I will make a second video about it. But remember here, obviously, the Muslims, they are like a chicken who follow a shape. They don't follow the true God. And the proof, they rejected their own God. As you see in here, he come to them in a shape, then he changes shape, then he come again. Then they will see him again, and then he will say, I am Lord. Then he will say, you are not our Lord. And then he will come to them in different shape. And then they will recognize him because of what? Because of the shin. So why you are upset for saying what I'm saying? If your God is a shin, follow with my video, number two. Shininuya, Muslims. Shininuya. Muslims, Christian, they say hallelujah. You Muslims should say shininuya. Thank you very much.